Imagine this. You've just had a risky encounter. Days later, your mind won't stop racing. You can't eat. You can't sleep. You're Googling every little symptom. You decide to take an HIV test. But then the questions hit you. What if I tested too early? What if this test isn't the right one? Can I really trust the result? You're not alone. Every single day, millions of people around the world face this exact fear. And here's the shocking truth. Even in 2025, many people are still taking HIV tests without knowing which one actually gives the most accurate answer. But that ends today. In this video, I'm going to explain HIV tests in a way no one else does. The science, the timelines, the accuracy rates, and the hidden details most doctors don't tell you. By the end, you'll know exactly which test to take, when to take it, and why you can finally trust the results. Now let's talk about the tests. This is where most of the confusion begins. In 2025, there are four main categories of HIV tests, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Number 1. Rapid antibody tests. These are the tests you've probably seen at clinics, community centers, or even bought online. A simple finger prick, a drop of blood, and within 20 minutes, results? They detect antibodies, the proteins your body makes when it fights HIV. They're fast, cheap, and widely available. But here's the catch. Antibodies take time to develop, usually 3 to 12 weeks. That means if you test too soon, you can get a false negative. Think of it like trying to catch a criminal by looking for fingerprints. If the intruder just entered, no fingerprints are left yet, you need time before they appear. Number 2 Force Generation Antigen Antibody Combo Tests This is the gold standard. These tests look for both antibodies and something called the P24 antigen, a protein that HIV produces very early after infection. Because of this, they can detect HIV much earlier, sometimes within just two to four weeks. In 2025, most hospitals and advanced labs use this test because it balances speed and accuracy. If rapid tests are like waiting for fingerprints, the fourth gen test is like catching the intruder red-handed while he's still inside the house. Number 3 HIV RNA PCR tests. These are the most sensitive tests available. They don't wait for antibodies, they don't wait for antigens. They look directly for the virus's genetic material, the RNA. RNA tests can detect HIV as early as 10 days after exposure. That's incredible sensitivity. But there's a reason they aren't used everywhere. They're expensive, they require specialized labs, and sometimes they can detect very small viral fragments that don't mean ongoing infection. So while they're powerful, doctors usually reserve them for special cases, very early testing, infants born to HIV-positive mothers, or when there's a high-risk exposure and urgent need for results. Number for at-home HIV test kits. And yes, at-home kits are still popular in 2025, or a quick, finger prick kits, and other FDA-approved versions. These allow you to test privately, but remember, most of them are antibody-only tests. That means they still need that three-month window to be fully reliable. So while convenient, they aren't the fastest at catching early infections. Now you can see why so many people get confused. For different categories, different timelines, different levels of accuracy. Which one is best? That's what we'll uncover next. Let's break down the most important factor in HIV testing, the window period. The window period is the time between when you're exposed to HIV and when a test can reliably detect it. For rapid antibody tests, the window is usually three months. Some people may show positive earlier, but 12 weeks is the safe bet. For fourth generation combo tests, the window is about four to six weeks. By then, over 99% of infections are detectable. For RNA tests, it's as short as 10 to 14 days. Accuracy also matters once you're beyond the window period. Rapid tests, about 99% accurate. Fourth gen combo, 99.9% .9 accurate. RNA tests, extremely sensitive, but can sometimes detect fragments of the virus even if infection isn't established, meaning they need confirmatory testing. Here's an analogy. Imagine you're looking for a hidden fire in a house. An antibody test is like waiting for smoke. It takes time to rise. A fourth-gen test is like detecting heat. 
much quicker. An RNA test is like opening the walls and directly looking for flames, you see it almost immediately, but sometimes you find embers that might not turn into a fire. That's why doctors don't rely on just one test. They often use combinations, and they always confirm positives with a second test. Now let's address the elephant in the room. What most doctors don't tell you. Many clinics still use rapid tests because they're cheap and easy. That doesn't mean they're the most accurate. It just means they're practical for mass testing. If you ever test positive on a rapid test, that's not the final answer. By law, labs must confirm with a force gen or RNA test. This is why some people panic with false positives. Many people confuse flu symptoms, anxiety symptoms, or even normal body changes with HIV. No doctor should ever diagnose HIV based on symptoms, only tests tell the truth. Some doctors may say you're fine after one early test. But unless you've reached the full window period, you should always retest for confirmation. So if you ever feel doctors aren't giving you the full picture, remember this. It's not because they don't care, but because clinics balance cost, practicality, and guidelines. My advice, educate yourself, and always aim for the most reliable testing available. <laughs> HIV, or the human immunodeficiency virus, is a master of disguise. Unlike the flu or COVID, it doesn't just attack and leave. Instead, it hides inside your immune cells, the very system designed to protect you. That's why testing is so important. HIV doesn't always cause clear symptoms in the beginning. Some people may have fever, sore throat, or rash in the first few weeks. Others feel completely fine, but inside, the virus is busy embedding itself into your DNA. Without testing, you cannot know your status. And without knowing, HIV silently damages your immune system for years. That's why HIV testing is one of the most powerful tools we have. It's not about fear, it's about knowledge. Because knowledge leads to treatment, and treatment leads to life. So let's bring this home. If you had a recent risk and want the earliest detection, an HIV RNA test at 10 to 14 days is your option. If you want the most trusted, gold standard test, a fourth generation combo test of four to six weeks gives you answers you can rely on. If you're testing at home or in the community, a rapid antibody test is still excellent. Just wait three months for conclusive results. The bottom line, in 2025, we don't have to guess anymore. Science has given us tools that are accurate, reliable, and accessible. And most importantly, testing is not about fear. It's about peace of mind, early treatment, and living a long, healthy life. So if you're worried, take a breath, get tested at the right time, with the right test. And remember, knowing your status is not the end of the story, it's the beginning of taking control.